What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are looking at how to spoof your location in Pokemon Go. Just a disclaimer, um, I am in no way affiliated with um, this app, so if you install this, it is at your own risk. So if you abuse this app, you will get banned. So Pokemon Go, do monitor this. All right, so if you're willing to take the risk, let's do this. All right, so this app, works on Android devices and it works without having to root your device. I found loads of clickbait tutorials um, that, you know, is they say they're going to do it, but they don't. So I'm not going to do that to you guys. Also for the iOS version, um, BG Sharp has an iOS version too. It's kind of hard to find, but I'll put the link in the description so you can find it. So this is a fun app and it is very beneficial for those that live in the countryside or somewhere that doesn't have any Pokestops or gyms. This helped me out a lot and made the game, um, you know, it, there was a breath of uh, fresh air, fresh life. I don't know what the saying is, but um, yeah, it reinvigorated my um, desire to play uh, Pokemon Go. Okay, so the first thing is you need to uninstall Pokemon Go and any Pokemon type apps that you have running. They need to be uninstalled. So you got to uninstall those. Next, you have to open your browser and type in PG Sharp, I believe it's .org. Um, it's changed now, but I'll put the link in the description. So follow that link. And it'll bring you to the homepage. And now you need to click on download and this will download the APK file. Uh, this will go straight into your downloads. It might take a while. Uh, it depends on your internet connection, but it should be okay. Okay, then you have to click install. So it installs. If you can't find it, go to your files app and go to downloads and you should be able to find it there. It's .apk. It's uh, PGS with a bunch of letters. You should be able to find it. So once the app is installed, you are going to open the app. And it should just open uh, as normal. And you'll notice that there's a yellow star with a Pokeball. That's part of the PG Sharp. I'll explain that in a minute. But you need to log in as normal, as you would uh, normally in Pokemon Go. So enter your date of birth, enter in your username and password as normal. So I'll explain that menu. So um, just to, uh, see that um, yellow star with the Pokeball, you can actually drag and move that wherever you want. Um, I'll just go through the menu option. Oh, sorry. So what you need to do here is you need to allow the location. Uh, you can deny the photos, that's fine. Yep, that's fine. Click OK, and then you're into the home screen here. So the two new things that you can see here is the kind of the joystick cursor, which allows you to move your avatar wherever you want. That is draggable. There's the hamburger icon, the tree lines. Uh, you can drag that anywhere in the screen if it gets in your way. Uh, you can drag this. There's a hamburger icon. You can drag it anywhere you want. So if Pokemon, um, if you can't click on somewhere, you can drag it out of the way and it's it works. And you basically you hold press up left or you know wherever you want and you can move your avatar wherever you like. Okay, so I'm gonna explain the the menu system for PG Sharp. So that yellow star with the Pokeball in the middle, uh, you can drag that anywhere you like. Um, if it gets in the way, I just leave it there because it's fine. All right, so the first um, uh, option is map. So when you click on this, it will go on, onto the map and you can actually find your GPS coordinates. Um, and it's really handy if you want to look for where you want to go. Also, if, you, if you're in the map, you can actually, well, it doesn't always work for me, but you can load the Pokestops and the gyms that are around. And uh, that's handy. And also, yeah, there's your favorites as well. You can access there. And then next is, um, I guess, your avatar's walking speed. So you have uh, 9.3 kilometers, 18.6 kilometers, 30 kilometers. Like if you're running, it adjusts the speed at, um, that your avatar moves. And then car is 60 kilometers. 
So I usually set that as walking speed. That's the best way to do it. Uh, the next option is auto walk. And what auto walk does is you have to pinpoint the coordinates that you want to go, GPS coordinates, and it will auto walk to that location. Note that you need to keep the app running when this uh, for this to work. Then next one is feeds where you can see Pokemon's raids and quests all around the world. Um, for me, it doesn't work. I think you need a paid account to do that. So I can't tell you about that. And next is the star, which is the favorites. And these are the favorite locations that uh, you saved. And you can save them in the map as well. The next one is teleport. So teleport, um, it'll show you when you put in the coordinates um, what your cool cooldown time should be. And that's how long you have to wait uh, so you won't get banned. And in the settings, everything is pretty much self-explanatory. Um, oh yeah, for here, just make sure that your spoofing location is on, joystick is on. Well, you can turn it off if you don't want it, but uh, it's very handy to have. Uh, you can enhance your throws. and There is a cooldown timer in here as well. So that will show you if you need to uh, cool down and just don't play the game for that uh, amount of time. And those are the settings. So there we have it guys, just a brief overview on how to get PG Sharp working on your Android device. If there's anything that I missed or if there's any questions, maybe a follow up video to clarify things, let me know in the comment section down below. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.